I'm going to give you guys a quick etiquette lesson to prepare you for your orchestra or ensemble rehearsals. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to think about what you're going to wear. I'm sure all of you want to look like young professionals, right? So portray yourself as a young professional, and the first way to do that is to dress appropriately. Obviously, you're not going to want to go in there and look like a slob or look like you just woke up, so just take the extra time that day to make yourself look a little bit more polished. Make sure whatever it is that you're wearing doesn't have holes in it, is ironed, and just looks clean and nice. Another thing that you don't want to do is wear a hat during rehearsal because then you're not able to communicate with people as well or interact with them. You're not able to see the conductor as well, so I would recommend not wearing a hat during rehearsal. One thing for girls also is you don't want to have any skirts that go above the knee. A lot of orchestra managers and stage managers have a major problem if you bring anything but bottled water to rehearsal. So leave that coffee at home or drink it before, whatever you need to do, and keep the food put away and eat it outside during the break so that you don't have anything on stage that might spill. One thing that I think looks so unprofessional is when people are chewing gum during rehearsal. Never ever cross your legs in rehearsal because that makes it look like you're bored and you just don't really want to be there. So just keep your feet on the floor and it just looks much better. So not to pick on string players, but Probably one thing that the winds and brass hate the very, very most is when you go and stare at them. Whether you hear a wrong note, or maybe the conductor is telling them something specific to their section. Just don't do it because it'll make them feel really uncomfortable and it's not going to make you look that great either. A big, big no-no during rehearsal is to have your cell phone out. And this means don't take any selfies during rehearsal. You can do that at break or after the rehearsal. Also, don't be texting people when, let's say, the conductor is working with a different section. Don't text people. Don't pull your phone out of your purse or your bag. Make sure to keep your phone on silent during the rehearsals. And one extra step that I like to do is to put it on airplane mode just to prevent any any kind of notification coming through. One big thing that you always have to do is respect the conductor. That is so incredibly important. And let's say they tell you something that you don't particularly agree with, or maybe it doesn't work that well on your instrument. Whether they say, play shorter, play faster, play longer, whatever it is. Even if you don't think it's gonna work well on your instrument, just say, okay, and then try your best. This is something that I'm sure all of you guys know and you never ever do. So during rehearsal, you wanna save things like, oh, that guy over there is kinda of cute, or did you hear what my teacher told me today in my lesson? Save those things for the break or for after the rehearsal altogether. The only thing that should be talked about is the music. So maybe there's a section that somebody is changing the articulation or saying, hey, you know what, this note's a little sharp for me. Can you pull the pitch up a little bit? That's the only thing that should be talked about. To save time during rehearsal, what you want to do is have the principal address the conductor. So if you have a question, ask the principal first. If they don't have the answer, they will ask the conductor because more often than not, the principal will have an answer for you and you would just be wasting the time of everybody around you if you were to address the conductor. So if you are the principal player, what you want to do is, if you can, save your questions for the rehearsal break or after the rehearsal. If it's something absolutely necessary to ask them at that point, sure, ask the conductor, but try to save as much as you can for the rehearsal break. One thing that I've had happen before and I've heard happen before to other people is people playing somebody else's part or playing the solo line of somebody else's part. This is something that comes across as someone trying to intimidate somebody else and that might of course not be your actual intentions but that's how it's going to come across so save practicing that solo in your room rather than playing it during the breaks in rehearsal so the last tip that I have for you guys is not to play louder than the people who are sitting in front of you what your job is is to blend with people and not to play louder than them I'm sure you can play louder than them but that doesn't mean that you should so instead what you're going to want to do is blend with the person and match their tuning match their tone colors and do whatever you can to be a team player and make your orchestra sound the best that it can. If you have any other etiquette rules make sure to put them in the comments below because I would love to read them and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys soon.